But the other thing I wanted to talk about is the EU AI Act. Article 4 is in force and it's reached its applicability date. So a lot of people have been confused about this. We were going, there was the back and forth about the EU AI Act and is it in force? Is it not in force? It did go in force in August. But what that basically means is that it made it a law. And then there was there were rolling applicability dates across the different articles in the act. So Article 4 has been the law since August, but it wasn't really applicable until February. And that gave enough time for people to actually work to make sure that they were in line with that requirement. And as of February, they have to be in line with those requirements. So Article 4 is in force now. And Article 4 states that there are AI literacy requirements for providers and deployers of artificial intelligence systems. So this means that providers and deployers of AI systems have to meet certain criteria like informing people when certain AI is being used. There's a great person that I recommend following if you wanted to take a look at this. It's Louisa Jarovsky on LinkedIn. She said that some people have misinterpreted Article 4 as being a directive about being AI first rather than it being a directive on informing people about AI uses and increasing AI literacy. So she wrote a great post on this. She dives into Article 4. She says that it's not a directive for AI being used uh, to, you know, prioritizing AI adoption. It's really about focusing on people's rights, protecting people's rights, their livelihood, their safety, which are enumerated in Recital 20 of the Act. So you can go take a look at that.